Hi there, today I'm going to show you guys how to shoot a big scene with a lot of extras as a DP. So as an example, we have taken a little scene out of an image film of a corporation. Here we can see that they wanted to show how they interact with the Chinese culture. So you have these employees of theirs who are participating in this Beijing opera scene. Now one very important thing is just to be very well prepared and plan everything ahead. I know very well that this scene can be broken down into three parts. We have all the shots that are related to the audience, then we have shots of the performers on stage, and lastly we have shots which shows interaction between the audience and the performers. This is good to know because then you can arrange the shot list accordingly to it. And so I know ahead that the uh, makeup and wardrobe for the Beijing Opera performers will take a lot of time, so then we will start with the extras, the audience first. We do all the shots done, and then the interaction shots between them and the performers. And lastly, we will shoot the performers on stage. With this logical planning, you can make sure that everything goes efficient. On the day when you shoot, it's very important to do an on-set announcement. This I have also shown in a previous video. This is very important because everyone then can be on the same page and knows exactly what's going on, which kind of shots we're gonna do, and safety measures, and so on. So our biggest challenge was we have to shoot it during the day because of schedule issues. But then also it needs to be darkened because I want to have a controlled lighting environment. This whole hole has uh, windows on top on the roof and also on the sides. So therefore on top we took a black fabric to cover the whole ceiling. But on the sides it's very hard for us to do. So we have lowered the blinds and whatever we can to just try to control the flood of the lights on the sides. Now with this type of shoot you definitely want to have a proper lighting team. You can't do this just with some Aperture 120Ds. For very little tight scene I would also choose these Aperture 120D lighting setups, a quick run and gun style. I like them too. But for these type of big ones, you definitely want to get a big lighting team that can help you to take the burden off you. So you can concentrate on your image and your camera movements while the gaffer can help you to do some creative lighting setups. Here you can see on the second floor, the lighting team placed 1.2 HMI lights above. Then we have a couple of these 1.2K HMI lights and also Airy Sky Panels S60 with diffusion box above. This is to give the performance a key light. And on the stage we've placed another two Airy Sky Panels S60 with diffusion box to give a key light for the audience. Art department, also very important to talk to. So the production designer can help you in advance to already move all these tables and chairs at the right position. So on the day when you do the camera movement, nothing will be in the way and also in the inside the frame, everything will be at the right point. So this is very important to also communicate beforehand so you don't lose time on the day to still move objects around. Lastly, it's also very important to talk to your client and director. So the best way I always see is the most important shots, you should always go a practice run and then let the client and your director already see on the monitor how it might look like. And this will help to already minimize the communication errors and also he can immediately let you know if something is not quite right and he wants to adjust so you can adjust accordingly before you do the actual shoot and waste time adjusting there. For these type of big scenes, uh, usually some of the really creative shots I use the gimbals, but also I often like to try to find someone who helps me to do the B cam to get some extra shots, or I find a way or setup that I can quickly change into handheld mode. So for those type of shots, I usually try to not care about the lighting too much and just try to make sure to have a lot of angles to cut to to give me more freedom in post. All right, that's basically it. There are definitely way more tricks also out there. If you know some, also feel free to share them down in the comments below. If you want to see more awesome content like this, feel free to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell. And up to the next one. Zaijian.